Good afternoon and welcome back to Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We've been coming to you live from the Quinnipiac Game Forum in the heart of New York City. Joining me is the Where's Waldo of the financial <laughs> industry, Eric Cott. He's a director over at the Options Industry Council. And Eric, I say that because we just connect around the road randomly. It absolutely is the truth, So Jill. thank you as always for joining us. Um, let's talk about OIC, the mission, and the importance within the financial sure. industry. Sure, and I'd be remiss if I didn't wish you a happy one-year anniversary. Thank you very and much. counting on another spectacular 20, 30 years of this program, so it's always nice thank to be you. here. So thank you. You know, the mission of OIC, as you know, we're celebrating 26 years this year, obviously as the sort of platinum standard of education for retail investors, institutions, and, you know, as you know, because we meet each other at these conferences, the wealth advisor space. And so it really is a continual mission for us, especially with all the recent volatility in the market. There are many more people kind of going to our website, seeking the information, the resources, the webcasts, and things like that. So um, our work is never done. Oh, speaking of that, options are versatile, but they're very complex. Uh, why is education the foundation for options trading? So as you know, we were created after the 87 crash. Now we have multiple exchanges, and the whole idea of learning about ways to manage, mitigate risk, also in a low interest environment that we're seeing sort of the Fed maybe change that, but that um, investors, advised institutions are looking for places for alpha, looking for income. So they're versatile because there's so many different strategies, but options sort of offer that flexibility. Mm -hmm. You know, that investors and their advisors can look at ways to either protect, add income, and kind of, uh, we like to say really, there are so many different solutions out there, you just have to find the right one. Well, institutional investors, obviously, they incorporate that within their portfolios, RIAs, as we know. With yes. the Cerulli study, they Thank are increasingly mm. adding options to, to their client mix. Now, are Main Street investors, particularly millennials, are they turning on to options? It's interesting. We've had a real onslaught now with Robo over the last couple of years. And then millennials looking for ways, they tend to actually be the ones that are going online. You know, my colleague, Jeff Goyne, mm -hmm. who thankfully wasn't joining me this afternoon because I wouldn't, wouldn't, want to, wouldn't want to be on the same <laughs> stage as him, and I'm being facetious, but that his webinars have seen inc increasing traffic from the millennial side. These are the um, individuals that really want to kind of brush up to get a good understanding, and they're doing it through that digital format. So then it's clearly important why OIC is a game to really get in front of that millennial audience because they want to learn, and they're young, and it's a great way to get into them when they're interested in their careers and with investing. So what do you hope students and attendees get out of the game over the past couple days? Sure, and this is actually, I believe, my fourth or fifth year presenting here. Dr. Sauer, I'm a great, uh, you know, thanks for having OIC here, you as well. Look, they're hungry for knowledge. These students that are in finance programs at universities where I used to live in Connecticut, at Quinnipiac, they're managing their own portfolios for the university, and they're interested more in the diverse side of the capital markets. And with that, they might be taking alternative investment programs at their, on the curriculum, but learning about derivatives, options, futures, et cetera. So what we try to say is, look, you know, Learn as much as you can, but realize that um, you know there are opportunities out there when you get out of college that maybe you want to go in and incorporate you know finance along with options understanding in your in your first career, which might not be your only job you know right. in a lifetime. All right, and to wrap up, it's March. I cannot have this conversation without getting something out of the Sweet Sixteen. We're able, we can sure. always throw that in there. Absolutely. Listen, I'm I'm praying for my brother's school tonight. Uh, the Syracuse Orange men are playing Duke. My mother's university, Kentucky, lost yesterday. Wisconsin Badgers aren't in. So I hope your pool is still a solid pool and you're onto the, uh, the final four with my, the right My picks. brackets have been broken since. <laughs> it's been really tricky for anyone who's had brackets this season. <laughs> Loyola Chicago pulled it off again Absolutely. last night. Hashtag Sister Jean for sure. Hashtag Sister Jean, of course. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Thanks, Eric, Joe. for Thanks joining for us here. as thank always. You. And traders, thank you for joining me throughout the day. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.